LHS. Welcome back to Blue Devil News. I'm Ashley. And I'm Chris. Today is Wednesday, August 8th. It's World Cat Day. Meow. <laughs> Let's add here information to everyone. So what is going on at LHS? On the 10th, we have a Jamboree football game. It's $5 to get in. Freshmen start at 6. JV starts at 7. Varsity starts at 8. Freshmen, you and your parents are welcome to our first home game and freshman walk-on. You'll need to arrive before the game. The game is on the 24th and will begin at 7 p.m. We hope to see you there. Let's pass it on to the tech tips for today. We're super glad you're here. And since you've already conveniently placed yourself online, we're going to talk to you today about internet safety. Tip one, the internet is forever, ever, ever, ever. That was all in-house. No joke, anything that you put on the internet, no matter how old, could be there until you have grandchildren of your own who will be Googling you. I mean, if Google is even still a thing in 40 years, I mean, who knows, maybe Bing can make a great comeback. So what do you do? Well, start by Googling your name, your phone number, your address, just to find out what's really floating around out there. Plus, it's kind of fun. If you're on social media, and who isn't, use the strictest privacy settings out there. Tip two, don't put personal information online. 73% of teens and 68% of young adults are on social networking sites. Of those people, roughly half post personal information, phone numbers, addresses, emails. Don't do that. If you do, it leaves you open for attacks from either cyberbullies or just some weird folks who want to take advantage of you. Do yourself a favor and ask a trusted friend what private information they can see on your sites. If you're not happy with the answer, remove it. Tip three, don't forget about smartphone safety. In an era of smartphones, cyber safety should extend to your phone too, especially when it comes to tech safety. Remember how your parents warned you about accepting car rides from strangers? All right, don't accept phone calls or texts from strangers either. Only answer texts and phone calls from your contact list. Tip four, handle hacking intelligently. Part of being a member of the World Wide Web is being aware that no matter how careful you are, your account may get hacked. Getting hacked sucks, but it isn't the end of the world, and there are a few important things to do when you get hacked to ensure your safety. A. Change that password, and make the new one secure. Make it unpredictable! According to a CBS article, password was the most popular password of 2012, followed by... One, two, three, four, five, six. People, we can do better than this. If you're really going for all-out cyber safety, and you should, check to see if your email service provides two-step verification. It's not impossible, but that is a hard nut to crack. B. Check your sent box and let any affected people know that you were spammed, especially if your account sent out a phishing link. Your friends deserve to know what's up. C. Do a sweep of your computer with antivirus software. All right, odds are, not only did you send something nasty out to your friends, you might have something nasty lurking in the recesses of your hard drive. D, back up your files. If there's a virus your computer doesn't catch, you don't want to lose everything. Okay, backing up files is totally a chore, but you'll be really happy you did it. Go ahead and invest in a cheap, portable hard drive and keep it somewhere safe. To recap, remember these points. One. Anything you put on the internet will be there for a very long time. Believe me, I've thought a lot about this. Two, your personal information shouldn't be visible to everybody. Three, do not accept phone calls or texts from strange numbers. And four, if you're hacked, change your password, check that sent box, and clean off your hard drive ASAP. <sighs> uh, well, that's all from me today, Wellcasters. Would you do me a kindness? Subscribe to our channel. Sign up for our newsletter to receive sneak peeks and other awesome stuff. See you later. Well, great tips. Remember the ACT words of the week. Adhere means to stick to something. Relevant means current. That sure was relevant. <laughs> Youth in Government is being held this Friday in Mr. Wilson's room at B107. Juniors, are you interested in applying for Youth Leadership Wilson? 
We'll stop by guidance for more information. Applications are due August 24th. If you like Spanish, go see Ms. Corella in room B315. Also, if you're interested in Beta Club, see Ms. Carpenter in uh, room B208. Club Rush is coming up. It's a great way to get involved into different activities. How about bowling? Bowling tryouts are at Pro Bowl West next Tuesday and Thursday at 3.30. Make sure to have an updated sports physical. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Chris. And I'm Ashley. And this has been news to you from the White and Blue. Have a great day, LHS. So gonna get to grab it Go pop a four pan Pop, pop it for me Turn around and drop it for a pan Drop, drop it for me